This video introduce the effect of the T5 LEK T043B development board and the Arduino development board to control the LED lights through the serial port. There are four sets of switches on the top. The middle is a PWM control LED light adjustment method, and the bottom is a set of switches for the ultrasonic rangefinder. Now let's take a look at the effect of the actual switch. The above is the state of the switch. The switch is turned on. The light is on. The switch is turned off. And the light is off. In the middle is the state of continuously adjusting the LED light. By sliding the indicator icon to adjust the parameters, you can see the adjustment of the brightness effect of the LED light, from the off state to the continuous brightest state. From here we can also see the value of the specific parameter. The value in the range of 0 to 255. We can also see a way to adjust the status of the LED light from The following set of switches control the operation of turning off, turning on and clearing the data of the ultrasonic rangefinder. Now it is in a closed state. Click to open the data and display it in the corresponding position through the serial port. Click to start the data to start collecting for example, if you put your hand on it. The parameter will be adjusted. The parameter becomes larger. The handle is retracted. The parameter becomes smaller. Click to close the data and no longer receive. Click to clear. The buffer data are all reset. This is our T5L display screen and the actual demonstration of the development effect of the Arduino development board. For the specific wiring, we will have a specific demonstration on the computer. We will divide it into three small sections to illustrate. One is how to connect. The other is the GUI configuration software, and the third is the Arduino development software. The development board is an external resource interface derived from the T5L chip. There is a lead angle definition on the side of the through tube pad. The lead angle function can be used as needed. Here is a serial port 2 connected to a sending pin and receiving of the development board the pin as a TTL electric frequency. It is connected from this communication interface to receive the transceiver pin of the Arduino development board. Here, the transceiver pin is a crossover connection. TTR and R are connected to T. These interfaces are the interfaces for external resources of the development board. Use the corresponding I.O. port to control the LED lights on this side. For example, the second I.O. port is connected to pin 2 here. A current limiting resistor is connected here, and an LED light is connected to the positive and negative sides, and go down. The corresponding pin pin is connected to the I.O. port on the development board. The I.O. ports here are 4 and 5 used as a PWM interface. Walk from the bottom of the development board to the surface wave board, and then connect to the 4th and 5th interfaces. And then connect the transmitter and receiver pins of the ultrasonic rangefinder here. The ultrasonic rangefinder powers the rangefinder separately. The 5 volts power supply of the development board is connected to a positive and negative pole. This is the specific wiring for our external settings.
There is also an interface on the development board, which can be connected to the PC via a USB cable for a debugging and a download of the serial port compiler program. The BOO rate is 115,200. The development board has a USB interface, the serial port BOO rate is 921,600, 5 volts power supply, after the line is connected, the second step is carried out. The communication plays the role of data transmission, which is to transmit from the GUI communication software, open the configuration development software. These touch buttons use the corresponding touch module. The touch module can be used according to the actual function. The most important attribute of the touch module is the attribute of the variable address. By operating this address, we can transmit the signal of our operation to the development board. When we press a button, an instruction 5500 will be sent to the development board. The address controls the corresponding and the seventh lead angle. Writing 1 will give a high level. Writing 0 will give a low level, the seventh lead angle can be controlled through the corresponding high and low levels, and the display of the lamp status can be controlled. The other buttons are also operated in the same way. In general, the variable address is important for the configuration software. The specific module development can be viewed on the forum or contact the corresponding sales The instructions we used before all need to be programmed accordingly. The Arduino Development Board software uses part. This program is a written program of several small modules. It is based on the control of several variable addresses and pins. The front part of the program is a definition. The following is the part of each module function such as a function of I.O. port, a function of PWM, and a function of ultrasonic rangefinder. For example, the part selected now is the module of ultrasonic rangefinder. A definition of I0 port as input or output, and a processing of our other interfaces, for example, the variable address of the test of LED on and off is connected with the upper surface of our software, to control the light on and off. When it is 1, it means that the state of the seventh lead angle is a lit state, otherwise it is 0, a low frequency, will put our seventh lead angle LED in an extinguished state. The same second button as the variable address of 5400 as a high power frequency, which is a state of power on. For example, it is zero, which is a low power frequency and a state of off. The third lead angle is a variable address of 5300, and the fourth pin. The second pin here is the variable address of the 5200. The same is to give a 0 or 1 control pin to a state of the electrical cadence to control the LED on or off. 
The 5100 address is to write 1 to this address write 1 to turn on the ultrasonic rangefinder. Write 0 to turn off the ultrasonic rangefinder. The address of 5700 is the rangefinder. A clear function to clear the slave area, correspondingly, compare the smart screen when writing programs time as a variable address. Operate this variable to control an external device. After the program is written, perform a compilation, then save and survive, and then you can download the GUI software to the screen, and it will appear as we first explained. The actual development results can be downloaded on our forum or contact the corresponding salesperson. ORT5L Development Board combines the wiring and configuration software of the Arduino Development Board and the Pro